Hello and welcome to North Derbyshire. Let's go and have a nose there. So for today's video we travelled up to northern Derbyshire because nestled between the city of Manchester in the west and the city of Sheffield in the east just off the Snake Pass Road there near the town of Glossop is a piece of moorland known as Bleaklow Moor that sits pretty much next to Kinder Scout which is one of the highest peaks in the UK. And on this piece of moorland on the 3rd of November 1948 there was a, a four-engined B-29 aircraft travelling from Scampton to Burtonwood and unfortunately it crashed and all its crew, all 13 of them, unfortunately lost their lives. Now when we found this wreckage today it was quite misty at the time and it really added to the atmospherics and I couldn't help but feel quite a heightened sense of emotion knowing what had gone on on that tragic night on that moorland. It must have been so frightening. So it really is a, a stunning location up here, as you can see, it's a bit of a bleak day today but uh, it's quite fitting that it's a bleak day because we're actually walking about on Bleaklow Moor looking for this uh, aircraft wreckage that uh, we've just spotted the first piece of the wreckage. Let's go and have a nose there. Okay, so what you're looking at here is the first part of the wreckage that we came across today. And as you can see, it's spread about everywhere. It's actually really well preserved in places because people actually come up here to this day, 70 odd years after it crashed, and they actually look after it and they clean it up so nature doesn't take it over. You know, as we know, nature reclaims everything, doesn't it? But it's a memorial now to the people that lost their lives tragically up here. But like I said earlier, I just felt such a sense of emotion walking around and it was so windy I really struggled to film in places but it was well worth coming and having a look all the same. Because the site is so isolated where the wreckage is, when the rescue team came in to remove the bodies and any documentation left on the aircraft, the aircraft itself or what remained of it had to stay where it was because there was just no chance of actually removing any of it but it has since become a memorial and people do look after it and keep it tidy. And although this area has such a sad story to tell on Bleaklow Moor with what happened to the aircraft, it really is such a stunningly beautiful place and I can imagine in the winter for it to be so harsh and brutal when it snows. I mean at the minute we're quite lucky in November, it's quite a misty day today but it's not freezing either at the same time. But uh, it really is such a beautiful place up here. It's breathtaking. I'm a bit, you know, taken aback by it, to be honest with you. I'm being watched. <laughs> Got a couple of rams here looking after his females. Getting a bit protective. <laughs> So that concludes today's little exploration around Bleaklow Moor. Really enjoyed it. The weather's behaved itself. The sun's just starting to come out now. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this, this little exploration of the crash site. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you at the next one. Bye.